Hey guys, so in this video we'll be looking at stereotypes, specifically implicit stereotypes, self-fulfilling prophecies, and the Pygmalion effect, and what they mean for us, for us in social psychology. So an implicit stereotype is when we uh, see a change in behavior because of this kind of priming, this, these unconscious associations. So you can you can you kind of chuck in words or uh, suggestions, and um, so they're not they're unaware of the actual stereotype that's been activated. So then it kind of changes their behavior and it's unbiased. Here's a little cute one. Um, they basically gave people uh, a list of old people words and um, like you know gray, bingo, wrinkle, all these like kind of words embedded with these word lists as opposed to people who are just kind of young and bright and then got them to well they just kind of got them to go and then they timed them walking to the elevator and, uh, and kind of saw um, how long it took them to get to the elevator and those who were primed with these old people words uh, these old people associations took less time to get there than those who were just kind of the control group who didn't really do uh, anything different. Okay, so that was just a little interesting one to explain that. Um, next, we're going to look at self-fulfilling prophecies. So, everyone going to know these. These are just when we think or have a belief or an expectation about something and that changes the way we act. So this is a really great study that illustrated that. So they gave uh, two different uh, well, two different groups of kids, uh, two different, well, it seemed to them two different types of rats. They told them that uh, one group was, were uh, geniuses, genius rats, and the other ones were morons, super morons, really dumb rats. And then they were told to train them running mazes and... Then at the end, those who were told they were, the rats were geniuses train the rats to do better than the, the ones that uh, were told they were stupid. Okay, even though they were randomly selected, so there was nothing different about the actual rats. It was just the associations the children had with um, the rats they were apparently given. The Pygmalion effect is the same, but um, to do with the way others perceive us. So here's another great one. Basically, teachers were given, uh, were told that this specific group of children were special in some sort, like spurters or kind of um, better for their age and whatnot, and it was like normal guys. And what they did um, was give them an IQ test, well, the teachers were told to give them an IQ test at the start of the year and at the end of the year. And even though they were just, remember, randomly selected, there, weren't, there wasn't anything special with them in the start, they showed significant, more significant improvements in IQ scores than the normal ones. Again, showing this kind of change in, uh, in behavior and, uh, as, a, as a result of beliefs and expectations. So just as a recap, uh, this video is about stereotypes, implicit stereotypes as a result of this priming effect. Um, which affect which uh, affect our behavior. These are social associ unconscious associations. Uh, also, self fulfilling prophecies in which the behaviors and beliefs influence our behavior that we have of ourselves, and uh, the Pygmalion effect, which was kind of the other kind of the other way around, where others' uh, beliefs and expectations influence behavior. All right, guys. Thanks. See you next video. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.